What's good, y'all boys? It's your boy, Chef King, Chef Shalom, back in the building. Hey, real quick, man, I want to just let y'all boys know that this video is sponsored by my business, the Chef Soul Glow. Yo, maximize your best glow with the Chef Soul Glow. Glow packs available at the Chef Soul Glow and the Chef Use on beards, waves, natural hair, and skin. But yeah, man, link will be in the description or in the bio so y'all boys can go over there and maximize y'all best glow. You know what I mean? Y'all boys enjoy this video. Shalom. <laughs> What's good y'all boys it's your boy chef king chef shalom back in the building all praise to the most high for another day hopefully you brothers been out there you know handling business doing what we're supposed to do but hey let me rap with y'all boys real quick man you may find yourself being alone a lot in in life and on your journey while you're trying to figure you know figure things out a lot of us brothers are still kind of young you know what i mean whether we in our 20s or early 30s you know what i mean we transitioning to really transitioning into that adulthood phase you know um you may find yourself being alone a lot more than you're probably used to and, that, and that's okay you know growing up you might have been popular or growing up you might have had a lot of friends or people you thought would have been your friends for you know the rest of your life but life don't work that way you don't it doesn't always work that way so with you finding yourself being alone don't look at it as a bad thing. It gives you time to find out what you really like, find out what you really don't like. You know, a lot of people who find themselves running with groups of, of friends for a long period of time, they may they may flock together. You know what they say, birds of a feather flock together. So with that being said, you know, when you're always click tight, you always grouped up with somebody or some people, you find yourself liking what they like. You find yourself, uh, doing things because they're doing things and that may not be you you know so you being alone gives you time to reevaluate yourself it gives you time to, to to soul search if you will like you know when you're in your late teens early 20s and stuff you you ain't you don't know nothing about yourself like that you know you ain't really been through you know some people have been through things but most people really haven't been through anything to really see what they're made of. I'm not saying that you just gotta be out here struggling and oh, you ain't struggle so you don't know what you, nah, I'm not saying that, but just life. Like you really, you're not under your parents' uh, supervision no more. You're not under their household ideally. So you have more you have more opportunity and room to bump your head or to exceed and succeed, you know? But with that being said, it takes for you to be alone sometimes to figure it out and like I said, see what you're really made of. Also, being alone, like if you're getting out of a relationship, it's good to take some time and, and be alone and like I said, reevaluate yourself if you want to achieve a certain physique, get, get your ass in the gym. If you want to achieve something financially, you know, you don't have the, the you know stresses of a relationship not saying that relationships are bad ideally relationships are beautiful things but we do know that when you're in a relationship sometimes they can get in the way of things that you're trying to achieve in your life it just is what it is take it how you want but with that being said now that you're out of that relationship you now have more time to evaluate or you you have more time whether you take the opportunity to uh seize the moment or not that's on you but you do have more time to you know plan out things and execute on things that you wanted to do you feel me like i said if you want to get your physique right now you have more time to get in the gym if if being in a relationship was draining you to the point that you couldn't get in the gym you know what i mean maybe it's a good thing you're not in that relationship if being in a relationship was draining you to the point that you couldn't come up with more ideas of passive income or you, your your relationship with the most high was being hindered or slowed down due to you giving more time and more energy and more effort to this to this uh, relationship hey maybe it's a good thing and maybe it's a reason why you're not in that relationship no more but it's okay to be alone bro like you have to look at yourself look at yourself when you started and look at yourself when you know when you get to where you're trying to go it, those are two different people you know when before like i always said before this uh whole pandemic thing started i was a totally different person but it took for me to be alone it took for me to be isolated and and, and really figure things out and see what's what in this world because 
if I didn't have that time to be isolated, I wouldn't have been able to progress and 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 elevate my life in a in a to where it is now and to where it's going to go. You feel me? But with that being said, y'all boys, don't look at being alone as a bad thing. You're going to be alone on this journey, bro. It's gonna be a lot of alone time. Whether you whether you think you finna be running through women or you know whether you think you finna be out here partying and all that, you know that's up to you. But just because you're doing all them things doesn't mean that you still don't have no work that needs to be done solely within yourself. And it takes for you to be alone. So you can put it off later and later and later, but that doesn't mean that it's going to go away. You know, so sometimes being alone, like I said, it allows you to see what's up with yourself. You, 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 don't, you don't like your attitude. You don't like your anger that you have. You get triggered easy. Maybe it's some time that you need to take to be alone to really get, you know, get in your head and be like hey bro when, when these things trigger you either you need to a stay away from them so it doesn't occur or b you know what i mean if you're in a situation that it does trigger you in that moment bro be logical with it stuff like that like if you if you find yourself being over aggressive with people being alone might help you hey bro i need to calm down you need, you need, you need to relax it just is what it is dog so being alone definitely has benefits and I and I personally feel like if a brother is not in a marriage or in a relationship they should take the opportunity to enjoy being alone do things by yourself bro it's alright to slide to the mall by yourself it's alright to go to the movies by yourself you want to go on a road trip you want to go to the beach or whatever like it's okay to do that by yourself you don't have to be with somebody and be with a female dog like this ain't what that's about this ain't what life is about it ain't about just you know, hanging out with everybody it ain't about smashing all the women like I always say. It's about, you know, growing every day, getting a, a better relationship with the most high, bro. That's what it's about. Yeah, you can have your brotherhood with your brothers and, and yeah, you can't have relationships, but don't solely base your life around that. Your life is, is your life. So you have to make sure you're doing the best to have the best life for yourself. You know what I mean? But hey, this your boy King Chef Shalom. Just a little friendly, friendly reminder. You know, it's okay to be alone. Keep grinding, y'all boys. Don't get discouraged on this journey. You know, you always got the most high. If you don't got no man or woman in your life, you always got the most high. So keep his commandments. Do what you need to do. And we're going to be all right. You know what I mean? Like I said, this your boy King Chef Shalom. All praise to the most high. Shalom, y'all boys. <laughs>